In a national survey of over 1,000 teachers, 66% of them say arts and music are being downsized to focus more on other subjects. So what options can a school provide for children who uh, sees those programs getting cut? Well, we have art teacher Sarah King and phys ed teacher coach Robert Ginther of Coral Academy of Science Las Vegas with here at, with more, I should say. And guys, thanks for joining us. This really hits home for me because we did have the programs, but I took advantage of them. And now these kids are losing out if, if these programs are cut. And it really does matter, Sarah, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I couldn't even imagine what it would be like without the arts programs. Yeah. Um, first off, Arts is such a different type of subject. It's so subjective. There's no right or wrong answer. Yeah. And it's never just black and white. And in traditional classrooms, everything has a, one answer. But when they're in art class, it's more or less they're able to really think about what they're doing. They're concentrating. They're wondering what's, what else can they get out of it. Yeah. As well as finding their hidden talents or just natural born talents. And even though it, you may not go into a, a, the field of art, it's still the, the intangibles that you learn from it that exactly. can help you in life. And, and um, that goes for, of course, sports too. Just coordination alone can help you in life. Exactly, with physical education, most of these kids are coming out uh, at an intermediate level and it's probably the major leagues that they're gonna see, whether it's baseball, football, basketball. And we're trying to teach them beyond some of the uh, things that they might need further in life and yeah. uh, in, in pursuing their goals and dreams. Absolutely, like that's a good point. Only a small percentage will make it a career and, and get exactly. paid for it. Exactly. But at the very least, it could be a lot of fun, you know? <laughs> and then like you said, life, the life skills that come along yeah, with it. Yeah, it's lifelong lessons. I mean, what we're doing in, real, in the real world is there's a lot of jobs that are looking for people that are innovative and creativity, whether it's music, arts, sports, the yeah. way that we're teaching them, we're preparing them for the real world and for excellence, that the sky's the limit, that anything's possible. Before we talk about details of the Academy, what's uh, what's this painting right here? This one's actually one of my newest pieces from the series, uh, Seven Wonders of the World. Wow. And this piece took me about thir three months okay. off and on. But I am showing a lot of my work here in Las Vegas. I'm a big part of the art scene, and a lot of my work can be found on artbysarahking.com. Okay. So, so, so it was done by you, but it, but uh, you're obviously teaching your students absolutely. some of these uh, these I guess talents that you, yeah the you, technique the technique, whether it's that's traditional a good word. Mm -hmm. or you know contemporary. Okay. And the, and the impact that has made on these kids, we try to make some sort of an impact on every one of these kids coming so through cool. yeah. so that if they can't fulfill their dreams, that we find something else down the line and hopefully we've made the right decisions and that we've helped them out along the line and, and, and the challenges and uh, dealing with sportsmanship and all that. For sure. All right, we're out of time, but just real quick, how can people get uh, more information about Coral Academy? Definitely on our website, coralacademy.org. Okay, and you, it, uh, the, just one location? Or There's is a few locations. Okay. We have three, a primary school, our elementary school, and our upper campus. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah, right, uh, that's how you get a hold, and uh, we're looking forward to hearing from folks. Good, yep. good, I like it too. Well, you know, Monica, we, we took advantage of uh, oh, the after yeah. school activities. Both both you and I both played a, an instrument. Yep. And then you danced and I played sports, so yeah. And let me tell you, it keeps kids, you know, we talk to experts all the time. Kids, kids are less likely to bully. They're mm -hmm. less likely to be on drugs and get in trouble. I, the arts and, and sports and all that, I think I'm a huge advocate for it. So thank you guys, we appreciate it. Okay.